Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chenin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an associate professor of bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this type of content, please consider subscribing. Okay, so this is yet another tips and tricks video on how you can make the most use of the Google Colab for your data science projects. So in this particular video, I will be showing you how you can download files that you have generated in your Google Colab. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your Google Colab and click on the GitHub tab, type in data professor. And so let's click on the pandas data frame tutorial. Okay, and now let's run all of the cells. And so we want to export the generated data frame. And the data frame is in results. You can see that the results data frame contains two columns, actual and predicted. And so here we're going to export it out. Results dot two underscore CSV and then the name of the file results.csv and then index equals to false because we don't want the index column and let's do the ls and we see the csv here let's do a cat in the bash cat results.csv okay and here you see the generated csv file and so now let's download the file into your computer by clicking on the folder icon on the left and then it will expand. The files in your current working directory will be shown here. Okay, and to download the file into your computer, right click on the file and then click on download. And in just a moment, it will download it. Okay, and it has already downloaded and it automatically opens up my Microsoft Excel. Okay, and here you see the data file content. Okay, and that's all there is to downloading files into your computer. And so you could do this for other files in your current working directory. And let's say that there are several files that you want to download. You can even zip up the files. So let me show you. Let's say that, but before I can show you, I have to create many files in here. And so I'm going to generate a couple of CSV files. So essentially I'm cloning the files here. Okay, ls dash l shift enter and so we will be seeing that we have the files results one two three four and results dot csv and so there is a total of five csv files so let's zip it up exclamation mark zip and then the name of the file that we want to generate results dot zip and then star dot csv shift enter Okay, and there you go. You have the results.zip and it's about five kilobytes and it's right here. Right click on it, download it. Okay, and the zip file is right here. So it works. Okay, so all of the CSV files is downloaded. All right, so this will come in handy when you have several files in your working directory and you don't want to right click on each and every file. So you can zip it up and download the zip file. And the second benefit of that is that when you zip the file, the file that you will download will be much smaller. Okay, so I hope that this tips and tricks video will help you in your data science journey. So in order to learn data science, the best way is to build your data science portfolio by doing data science. Okay, so enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.